Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode of Ask Everything, only ask series on YouTube where you ask legitimate questions and I answer with illegitimate puns. Let's get started. And the first question comes from me! Evan, why are you wearing sunglasses? They're not actually sunglasses, these are just my normal ones, but they're transitions so they react to natural sunlight and this room that I'm in is incredibly full and flooded with natural sunlight. It's a conservatory, it's beautiful, it's very bright because I'm in Brighton. Okay, got that right? Lots of puns. Also, I, I spent some time decorating. As you can see, there's a Yoshi and my Super Smash Brothers controller over there because I didn't really have much to decorate and I'm only here for another day. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. If you could visit any fictional place, where would it be? Apart from anything from Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter. Listen, if I can't visit Rivendell in Middle Earth, I don't want to go anywhere. At school on Friday, a Dragonite spawned in our field. Everyone was trying to catch it. Have you caught a Dragonite? No, I haven't caught a Dragonite. I evolved one from a Dratini because I found a nest way back when Pokevision was a thing. Rest in peace. And it was basically an area just full of Dratini and I spent a good three hours there catching them all and now I have this super strong Dragonite. Get wrecked, noobs. <laughs> First band slash artist you listen to obsessively? This is the least relatable answer I could give to this question, but before I was 16, I almost listened exclusively to video game music. Nobuo Onmatsu, Yasunori Mitsuda, I was all about that. I listened to loads of it, I listened to remixes from Overclocked Remix and lots of stuff like that. However, the first like, mainstream band that I started listening to was most certainly Reliant K. Thoughts on the new Reliant K album? Speak of the devil! I actually really like the new album. It's much better than the one they released previously, which I pretend doesn't exist, and I really like the vibe to it. It's got a very bouncy, Nashvillian type feel, and uh, a lot of the songs I've definitely had to repeat the last week, so if you haven't listened to Air For Free yet, I'd recommend it. Where would you like to go for your next holiday travels? I am always on the lookout for contests that give away free flights, and I found one three months ago, entered it, you guys helped me on you now, and thanks to you guys, I'm now going to Tokyo. Me, Dodi, Connie, John Cozart, maybe some other friends of ours, we're all gonna go in spring for the Cherry Blossom Festival and I'm super excited because I get to experience like a whole new culture I've always been fascinated with, with all my friends and during such a beautiful time to go and ah, I'm very excited. Can you, can you tell? Uh. And if you are a fan of mine from Japan, you might be thinking, wow, you Tokyo time, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Make a pun about Seinfeld. I haven't watched Seinfeld in over two months and to be honest, I feel like a new man. Yeah. <laughs> One thing you missed about London whilst in Brighton, things being open. Places in Brighton close down way earlier than London, which closes way down earlier than I'm used to in America, which is, you know, never. Most stuff in America is open 24-7, London's open eh, to like 7 or 8, and then Brighton's like, we're just not gonna open at all. There's a good shake place in Brighton that closes at 6, and I'm like, 6? That isn't, that's like peak milkshake time! How am I supposed to get my shake on? Man, they just take my shake away from me. It's a pun just for you Brighton people. <laughs> but yeah, I love living in Brighton and I've been taking a lot of walks down to the beach just to enjoy the sea breeze, look at the stony beach, and also level up my 10 kilometer eggs. You know, priorities. What did you think of Cursed Child, no matter how you pronounce it? Okay, let's just get this out of the way. Cursed Child, but the child is cursed. I'm pretty sure that's how it was supposed to be pronounced back in the day. I still pronounce it that way. Just like, oh, that's a nice striped shirt you have, Bri. But that shirt is striped. You know, I have two syllables for the word if it's before the noun it's describing. That's just me. Okay, anyway, I liked Cursed Child. The effects, if you see the play, are really cool. Just imagine seeing a polyjuice potion effect on stage. It's crazy. Also, Dementors? Whoa. Whoa. No spoilers here. It's just the performance is really good. The acting is really good. I feel like the plot is a bit weak. It's very fan fiction-y and I don't consider any of it canon at all. I like to stop Harry Potter after the seventh book as that's it, no more. None of JK's tweets, none of these extra plays. This is the end. But I know that some people just really like the universe so they want more, you know, opinions. Any tips for people who want to move to different countries by themselves? Get rid of all your stuff now. Travel as lightly as possible because nothing feels quite as good as starting fresh with not much stuff in a new place. I moved to England with only two suitcases. Now I've got a lot more stuff than that, but I don't know how I'd feel if I was bogged down with all the knickknacks and things I left America. Just leave them at home, start fresh, you'll feel a lot better. Favorite song by Dodie? Dodie's song, She, means everything to me. Who's your favorite Steven Universe character? Connie. What is the best gift you've ever received and who is it from? Even though I kinda knew it was going on because I'm really suspicious about surprises, the best gift I ever received happened right after I found out I was being let go from my last job. Within three hours, when I came home, Dodie had arranged for 20 of my friends to fill the living room and shout surprise, and there was pizza, there was cake, there was Smash Brothers. It was the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. It was so kind, and I still like feel warm inside thinking about that, and if ever I get sad, I know that people like Dodie exist that are so nice at the core and would do something so nice for me at such a low point in my life. Uh, and the fact that she'd be like, happy surprise, you lost your job day. Like, I don't know, that, that was just so nice. Uh, so yeah, that. Evan, I'm gonna be an RA at my uni this year. Any advice? 
Wow, those jobs are a hard job to do. <laughs> that, was, that was a stretch. If you didn't know, RA stands for resident assistant. I was an RA my last year at university. It means I got free accommodation, which is great because their accommodation is so expensive. And the only thing you have to do is just make sure that everyone on your floor is happy. If there's any fights, you have to be like, hey, hey no, no pot in here, no, no alcohol. Now, I don't think I was the best RA in terms of the establishment. I was in terms of the people that I had control over because I was a nice RA. You're kind of supposed to follow the rules to a T and some of the rules I didn't agree with. I have a very civil disobedient tendency. And so for instance, there's this one rule where if anyone in a room is under 21, no one's allowed to drink. I just think that's really stupid. I understand why it's there, but the fact that a 21 year old isn't allowed to drink in their room is dumb. And so if I saw one doing it, you know what I'd do? I'd look the other way because that's the dumbest rule ever. And I also don't agree with the whole 21 year old rule that America has for alcohol anyway. So I never got caught doing this, which is fine. But if you want some actual advice, probably follow the rules, follow your heart, follow your dreams, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> if you were to dye your hair, what color would you dye it? Your pink hair for pride was adorable. Well, thank you. I've never given any food to my hair because I don't think it's on a diet. But in reality, I've always wanted to dye it blue so I could look just like my RuneScape character with a blue shirt with blue- Oh my gosh, I'm literally halfway there. I'm wearing a blue shirt right now. I've got blue shorts. I liked blue, as you can tell, you know, when I was in eighth grade, and I wanted to look like my RuneScape character. Now I just need full dragon, you know, a little dragon halberd, and then I need a RuneScape girlfriend. Anyone want to be it? I uh, just gotta give you a couple gold, right? Maybe some sorties, some lobbies. Let's go chopping some trees. Opinions on Sweden, would you ever travel here? I'd want to live there, but I heard there's not that many places to live in Sweden. They don't stock homes. <laughs> yes, I'd love to visit Sweden. Did you finish college? What course did you take? I'm curious. I did finish college. I got a bachelor's in mathematics with a concentration in statistics and operations research with a 3.7 GPA, might I add. And I also got a master's in MSc in actuarial science. It was hard as balls. Very, very hard balls. Would you rather have bad odor or bad breath for the rest of your life? This is a tough question, because it's basically like, would you rather everyone knows you smell, or just the intimate connections? And you know, if I did smell bad, I'm pretty sure the girl would think I odor something. I, uh, no, but in reality, I'd choose odor, because I've made out with someone with incredibly bad breath before, and I'm gonna be honest, I wanted to die. Never again. I'd rather make out with someone that smelled than make out with someone with bad breath, because Oh, so I'll take the odor any day. What's your favorite evolution of Eevee? Don't you mean what's your favorite evolution? Definitely Vape Nash, Vaporeon. It's just the strongest one in the game right now, so I feel like it makes sense. Yes, I'm basically on Team Rocket. I only care about the strongest. <laughs> Watching any TV shows lately? Yes, I just finished watching Stranger Things within two days. If you haven't seen it yet, Oh, it's so good. It's gripping, it's really interesting, and you should just watch it. Like I said, it took me two days, it's eight episodes, go for it. Another show that I'm watching a lot is Curb Your Enthusiasm, which is kind of like the sequel to Seinfeld, and it's so funny, it's so relatable. I love Larry David and his writing style, and I'm excited for the next season that's coming out soon. Subject you absolutely hated in school? There was no class that I felt I had to subject myself too. No, I honestly really liked school. I liked every course. There wasn't one class that I didn't like. I liked going into a place full of people that would help me expand my mind and for me to learn and get smarter and that's all I wanted to do. So I really liked school. No classes I hated. Sorry, not relatable. What is the prettiest photo you've ever taken? Possibly this one, which is a photo of the Brighton wheel I took two years ago. May it rest in peace. Or this one, which is one I took recently from Yosemite Valley. Both very pretty. I love taking photos. If you haven't followed my Instagram yet, I mean, Get on that, man. New merch anytime soon? Yes, I've got loads of new merch that I'm selling at Summer in the City this year. I've got phone cases, gotta get that shot, which are also made into posters for people that don't have iPhones. I've got this new really cute cactus tee that I really like because it's minimalistic and just a little logo of a little cute cactus with my name on it. And then I've got the posters that I've already got. I've got tank tops, I've got demisexual love shirt. I've got a lot of stuff. It's all at Summer in the City. When will you see it after Summer in the City? I've got to figure that out. I have no way of selling it online right now, so if you have any suggestions, leave them below. I'm still trying to figure that out. Describe Harry Potter and the Cursed Child in five words. Back to the Future 2. Would you dab for Dodie? This sounds like a type of charity thing. Someone's gonna knock on my door and be like, Please, sir, we have a musician that she's just out of inspiration, and for every one dab, she writes one more lyric for a new song. So please, sir, dab for Dodie. <laughs> Hashtag dab for Dodie. Did you actually take water in your shreddies? Listen, folks, okay, when you run out of milk and you're too lazy to get some, just try putting water in your cereal. Sure, it's depressing and it doesn't taste that good, but you know what it does do? It gives you something to eat, okay? Have you guys never been poor in your lives? Jeez, I'm used to eating tomato sandwiches and ketchup sandwiches and water in my shreddies, okay? 
Don't judge me. How was the sponsor video with Connie? You tell me. What'd you think of the video I did last week? I liked it a whole lot. I got a chance to do a type of video that I don't think I would have done or had the idea for without them reaching out to me, so I really liked it, but you tell me your thoughts. Hello, why did you actually leave the Dovin flat? Okay, so I get this question a lot. A lot of people want to know the real reasons why Dodie and I stopped living together. And I figured it's been long enough. I'm moving in with someone else soon, so I might as well tell you. The reason Dodie and I actually moved out was because she put a cactus in my bed, okay? And also I kind of put beans in her shoes and ruins her dresses in some ways I don't really want to talk about. But you know what? That was her fault. She started with the cactus, so we got in this big squabble. I couldn't deal with someone that would do that. So we had, to, we had to move out, just couldn't work anymore. She was a prick with the, with the cactus. Whew, feels good to get that off my chest. Well, that about does it for this month's Q&A. If you did like the video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up below and also subscribe because I make new videos every Sunday. Next week, I'll be in a new flat in London. Very excited. I'll be sad to leave Brighton, but I'll be happy to be living with friends again. Anyway, thank you very much for watching the video and I hope to see you guys next week. Goodbye. <laughs>